Mm. Probably the difference of how everything sounds and feels. It's just, your entire sound just seems like everyone is helping you sound better, and you're helping them sound better, so it kind of just bounces off each other, creating one big sound that sounds just awesome. Just awesome. Coolest part about playing in a band. Everyone is, ta everyone is talented in your band, and then you put all these talented people together, and you just get something that's amazing. It's pretty cool. Cool. Um, playing alone is... Definitely kind of easier. You do play something else, like for me, I play on the drums usually. I have to check off one thing, then I can move on to a song or something that we've been working on in band. And then I go to the next day because I, I get really tired if I do it the same day. I go from um, the next get day, I take that, what I did, and put it into time and put it into the song. Like when, when you practice by yourself, it, you get better technically, and then when you practice with a band, you are able to yeah. do more stuff, right? I think it's different because you, like I said, you can kind of hear the song. Like you can, you actually hear it and you're like, that's actually how the song sounds. Rather than like just playing the piano and you're just like, this is so lame. <laughs> when you're playing music alone, there isn't much of an accompaniment. Everything that's in your head is coming out, or, or if you're playing along to a track, everything that you do is kind of decided already. Um, but when you're playing with a band, you definitely have a lot of freedom to kind of explore. Um, somebody's going to feed you something different, and they're communicating a change to you. So you can go along with that change, you can communicate a new change. Um, it's not, it, for lack of a better phrase, it's not an independent work. Um, you have a lot of people that you can communicate with and a lot of different ways you can take it. Whereas when you're with yourself, you can take it only a certain, you know, as far as your instrument can go and as far as your playing can go. But um, playing with a group is definitely one of those things that opens up everything. Uh, alone, it's more like stressful and not fun. It's just annoying things because you're not really like cooperating with people. But then playing with a band, it's more fun because you're jamming out with your bros and and just having fun with the song. Unless if it's like a stressful song that's like really hard to play. Uh, it's more fun, and it's just more social, and if you're having trouble on a part, you can ask a yeah, bandmate to help. They, they don't need to play the same instrument, don't worry about it, they, they can still help. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There'll be emotional support. Those chords. <laughs> when you're playing alone, and you're not with any, anybody, and like, so you could play to a recording of a song, but it's not the same. You can't be like, this is weird, and like, stop with like everybody. You can be like, you have to be like, huh? What? Huh? But when you're with a band, you can be like, this is weird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of differences. I think if you're starting, you should probably just play, play alone. And then. Once you get better at your instruments or instrument, you could maybe try, try, um, try um, a group. So alone, I, I tend to go at my own pace, and um, I work on anything from just scales to chords to rhythm exercises. But with, well, no, I guess we do that with groups too. But like. You do your own thing when you're with yourself, but with your with 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 a group, uh, you want to um, you have to do stuff together. Like you have to warm up together, you have to play together. That's the entire point. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be understanding of what other people's paces are and how what like when you're deciding what you all want to play, you can't just you know okay I have to play this. You have to think about okay well can the drummer actually do that? Can the 
guitar player actually play that and you have to think about how many people you have. So it's just a lot more like mindfulness of everybody around you. Um, when you're playing alone, you're limited to what you can do. But when you're playing with a lot of other people, it's you and other people. <laughs> other, more people can do more things. So we've seen more and more that obviously it's important to have a, a good foundation before you play with other people. Uh, but once you do, it's, it's a lot easier to have a good time and, and make something that's compelling and, and fun for people to participate in. So it's just something, again, that I, I recommend as soon as possible, um, as long as you have a, a good foundation and, and are in a situation where you can comfortably work with other people. And it's, it's tough at the beginning, but like we keep saying, it, it gets easier and it gets more and more fun as time goes on. So uh, nothing specific for this video. Um, if you have any requests, please leave them in the comments down below, and uh, we'll try to address them as soon as we can. So see you next time.